So David, job seekers sent their resume and then either they'll get an email, we'll call you or they'll get an email, more details that we're interested in having a phone call with you. So what mm -hmm. tips do you have for job seekers in terms of preparing for an interview, either phone interview and nowadays it's Zoom interview where it's, it's not face to face. So what can they do to be prepared? The first thing that you have to do is to get rid of the intimidation factor. Mm -hmm. If they are calling you for an interview, it's because they already know that you are qualified. Yes. Now they want to check how confident you are, if you truly believe in yourself, and you can back up the information that you provided in your resume, what your personality is like, if you're going to gel well with the team, how are you going to react to different scenarios down yeah. the road if you come across those scenarios? Yeah. yeah? So forget about intimidation, intimidation factor. Here's the thing. People go to an interview thinking, oh my God, the interviewer, the recruiter, like feeling in fear, <laughs> feeling scared. It's just, if you go to an interview, you know, seeing that interview opportunity as a conversation, conversation. that you're going to have with another human who is highly impacted by COVID as well. Yeah. Right. So you already have that in common. It's another human only that, uh, that other human is looking for the best fit. Yeah. What you need to do from a job search, uh, for, sorry, from the job seeker perspective is to understand that you also are looking for the best fit yeah. as well. The two -way so it's a two-way street, yes? Yeah. So with that conversation, you can define if that company is, is a good fit for you or not, yeah. yes? So very important to research. Mm -hmm. You have to research the company thoroughly. You have to understand what is it that they do, what they stand for, what their values are, how they interact with their, with their, with their customer. Go to Glassdoor and see uh, reviews from other employers, employees, sorry, who have worked in those companies. What are they saying? You can start learning a lot about their culture. Yes, mm -hmm. what products are uh, being developed. Again, find informational interviews and ask people who, are, who, who have the jobs that you have if yeah. they can give you tips on what are some of the questions that they ask you. What should I focus on that stuff, right? So with that, and then practice, you need to practice, especially if you're an international student and yeah. you're interviewing in English and you still feel like mm, I'm improving my, 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 my communication abilities, you need to practice yeah. a lot. So find communities, find a community of support like Orbit 5, when you can meet people that are other international students mm -hmm. and get together and practice together, right? Um, practice with yourself, recording yourself. Record yourself. And then see, you know, like watching yourself, your body language, yeah. your tone, your speed. I don't know, you, we're going to see these interviews after and I'm going to assess myself, wow, sometimes I was speaking so fast, <laughs> I need to tone it down. There's no need to just like uh, yeah. talk at a uh, hundred kilometers per hour. Oh, you use right? your hands. Right? Exactly, all that stuff. So research, practice, be self-aware and belief in yourself. Do not sabotage. Yeah. Yes. Because they say, oh my God, I don't have experience. Well, but they're calling you is because they're seeing something. They're seeing something in you. Yeah. Yes. The person who gets the job is not necessarily the person with the highest qualifications, but the person with the ability to promote themselves better. Yeah. Yes. Think, as you said, it's you're selling yourself, kind you're of. You're selling you're yourself, yeah. Branding. And as you said, one of the series, record yourself. So via because all of the interviews are done via Zoom, you can record yourself on the yeah. Zoom and hear yourself or where you should where, where you should look, the camera, the lighting, all those mm -hmm. small things are important these days. And at the end, for sure, ask questions, you know, why this mm -hmm. job is open. What's the what's important for you? The culture, the management yes. style, all other things. You should ask questions at the end. Absolutely. Thank you for mentioning that because it's paramount that the person asks questions. Yeah. And the more research you do, the more questions you're gonna have. Again, remember that you have to ask questions because you because with depending on the answers, you're gonna decide if that if that yeah. place is, the, is is a good fit for you or not. Yes. So that's uh, so uh, so that's a great uh, tip as well. And you just go ahead and enjoy the conversation. Why you're happy here. You know, you can ask yeah, them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. What's, your, what's your job that you're happy there? Or what's, what does success look like for yeah. your job? Another thing for, with practicing is that it, it helps you be concise in your answers. And I'm going to give you a personal example. Yeah. When I came to Canada and when I started working in post-secondary uh, and I had my part-time job, but when I was applying to full-time positions, I would get calls for interviews. Yes. And then I would leave my interviews feeling like, oh my God, I think I did a really good job. One day, the head from HR called me, David, I need to tell you something. I need to give you feedback. You're great, David. Yes, <laughs> you're great. You communicate, communicate nicely. Mm -hmm. You're smart. But David, you have to be more concise. 
Mm -hmm. Every time we allocate 45 minutes for your interviews, it takes us sometimes one hour and a half. <laughs> Cut to the chase. Yeah. And I never, and I never, and I've never seen that flaw that I had or some or that error that I could improve. So yeah. it's great that someone uh, tells you because they care about you, yeah. right? Someone tells you straightforward how it is so that you can see something that you haven't seen before. Yeah. And then you, uh, you know, be more concise in the answers that you provide. Yeah. Those are great tips, David. Thank you very much. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of resumes and cover letters, please leave tips below. And tune in next time for my final question with David. Thank you so much.